is dead. Do everything to prevent Donald Trump from winning the election. The leak from <laughs> leak. the Ukrainian troll <laughs> factory. Troll factory. <laughs> everything is projection. Can we make that clear? Everything is projection. CIA has been implicated in the operation of troll farms in Kiev. That's to those dogs, people. Voters for the 2024 election says former employees of a Kiev-based troll factory. The whistleblower of... Does anyone remember Russian collusion, by the way? Keep this in mind. Yeah. Let's yeah. have this in mind. The whistleblower of the Kiev... This is according to the Boston Times, not me. The whistleblower of the Kiev-based troll factory has come forward with disturbing allegations of a coordinated effort to interfere in the upcoming 2024 U.S. election... Owned by Andrei Yermak, head of the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's office. So this is Alyssa Moshvan. She works in the troll factory for several years before deciding to expose what was happening behind closed doors of the operation located near the metro station in central Kiev. When she first started the uh, work was consisted of writing comments in Ukrainian to express support for Zelensky. But uh, let's... Let's just watch the video. Yeah, let's 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 check this out. This is the, this is all pretty much covered in the video. There is Nefo, Nefo accounts, the fucking stupid dogs. Hey guys, my name is Olesia and I'm a former employee of the so-called troll fabric in Kiev, Ukraine. And you know, today I want to tell you something about this structure and some reasons why I have left this job. I might be wrong, but I think it's the first time somebody published insider materials on this topic since 2019 when a journalist infiltrated the office in Kiev to make a report about it. And back then I did realize that it was a troll fabric, but you know, I told myself it's okay because I always supported President Zelensky and I still do. And yes, at first the job was focused uh, on supporting President Zelensky online, uh, like writing positive comments or posts, etc. So we were mostly working on Facebook and Instagram. As the time has passed, I was transferred from the Ukrainian department, uh, which worked for Ukrainian audience, to the English-speaking department, which were focused on the English-speaking public, uh, like Americans and Europeans. But the topics remain the same. Support for President Zelensky. It's on, look, it's NAFO. Support for Ukraine. And it's Ukraine literally NAFO. It's the fucking dogs. We also had French, German and Italian departments. Uh, I actually heard some other officers in Kiev uh, were hiring people who spoke uh, Finnish and uh, also Swedish and Estonian. This is so About good. a half year ago, our main chef in command, Andrei Borisovich Yermak, paid us a visit. I'm pretty sure you have heard of the... None of this is out of pocket. None of this. This all, this all, like, this all checks, like, this all sniffs like CIA. CIA would... <laughs> they they talk about President it. Zelensky office. Really, it was an unusual event for the main figure behind our project to come visit the office. So he came with some English-speaking officials who were introduced to us as the American partners. We were told that uh, they were very important guests, uh, but no further, de further details. Some of my colleagues told me that they were probably CIA. During the visit, they said that our field of work is expanding, and we were told that our new target was the United States of America especially the upcoming elections. 
Uh, long story short, uh, we were asked to do everything to prevent Donald Trump from winning the elections. So basically, this topic was added to our main lines of work. Since then, each of us had to post at least three or five posts daily, posing as the Americans and the Europeans, and criticizing Donald Trump and praising Biden. The Americans have even organized a few lectures for us to get a better understanding of American politics and American mindset and main social and politics issues. Then we were occupied with the topics for the job. Okay. I really want to make this clear in everyone's heads. We're talking about a CIA trained Ukrainian NAFO farm out in central Kiev and like right in the smack middle of Kiev where all the Nazis are. Literal like paid shit posters. <laughs> attempting, they said, attempting to influence the 2024 election. Does that sound anything like collusion to you? Wait, th isn't this exactly what they said Russia was doing? They like hired bots to yeah, it's troll, troll the internet to influence. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a tried and true. By the way, y'all, that is a tried and true. Um, um, that is a tried and, tried and true tactic of fascists. Accuse the enemy of which you are guilty. Like that's exactly, like that's the playbook. That's the playbook. You go, these people over here are doing this shit, and then you do the same shit. That way, when it comes out that you're doing the same shit, you can you can essentially just say, "But what about them?" Oh no, they're just saying like you can reverse it. It's kind of a reverse Uno card. That's what's going on here. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. <laughs> Trump Look at this. Look at these instructions. Can, can, these are the talking points. And let me like let, see if you recognize any of these. There is no real support for Trump among the American voters. Most of the Trump voters are supporters are online and in fact Russian bots paid by Putin. Of course. <laughs> Trump and the whole Republican Party are Putin's assets. Mm -hmm. Elon Musk is paid by Putin to promote pro-Trump bots. That's why there's so many Trump supporters on X. Trump does not respect women, people, or color of the LGBTQ community. Trump is stupid and incompetent, has no skills to rule the country. Trump will betray NATO and leave the United States. Trump will not only betray Ukraine, but also betray Israel. Where they're getting that from, I have no idea. You want to you wanna play a fun game? Take all those points, replace Trump and Russia with Biden and China, and someone on the Chud side's got the same fucking script. Yeah, yeah. they're served the, the same. Exact, exact same. Biden's a Chinese asset. They're fucking add in the Red Scare. We have another excuse to do McCarthyism again. Fucking, it's the same thing. This is just no, like it's, two it's two sides of the same fucking red scare coin. Dude, they They're do playing them they, against each other. So they they put like man. They just hit control F. Yeah, that's find it. Putin and then you know change to Z and then hit replace all. And that yeah. and they just send a bunch of copies out. That's the it. CIA is doing this to both sides. They're just like, here's your copy. Here's your copy. No, no, John, John, John. No, this week you're no, doing John, the, the red copy. Yeah, you got the. You're doing the Chud stuff this week, so we got to hammer home China. No, Claire, Claire. No, no, no. Put that one down over here. Over here. You're doing uh Russia and uh, and Trump. Yeah, that's you for this week. Can you imagine how busy the CIA must be? <laughs> hey, no. Okay, no, Fred. You're on China this week. All right. Did you get those papers in with um with the the anti-Semites, by the way. Uh, but I was on China last week. I don't want to go China Someone's got to do China, Fred. I'm sorry. I know no uh, one likes doing the China talking points, but we got to get at least three China talking points in. Okay, but I, I need – if I'm going to work – if I'm going to work the next holiday, I, I want – I better do Russia. I'm tired of this China stuff. Okay. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of popularity on the, on the Putin posting right now, so – 
you know, it's got to wait a little bit for that. We'll see. Which sounded like this. Unlike Trump, Biden is a smart and experienced. Trump will not speak. It was too much for me. Some of my colleagues felt really nervous to me. One thing is to work for the best interests of my country. But interfering in U.S. politics is a whole other thing. Oh, this is so old. They have footage of the actual troll factory? This is apparently it. Do you see all the Trump signs? Oh, this is so cringe. Listen, guys, everyone you're arguing with on Twitter and in the replies, they're all bots. They're all bots. No one no one actually agrees with this shit. I've, I've talked to a lot. I mean, there's – I mean, okay. There are Putin – there are, you know, Zelensky – there are Ukraine chills in real life, obviously. But, you know, they're, I call they're, them, not, they're not a huge segment of people. I call them useful assets. That's what I call them. It's people – it's normies who have been like bamboozled enough that like they believe the bots and they think like this is the right direction to go in that'll make them like popular and well this is how you be a good person you got to believe these bots that's what i call useful assets they um <clears throat> that's it but the overwhelming majority of people they don't like first off they either don't care or like they're just not about this cuz they think it's stupid the majority of people I've actually talked to, like working class people, are like, people don't. I don't know why, I don't know why everybody's so fucking obsessed with all the shit in other countries when we have problems here, especially in Canada. Everybody's just like, why are we even giving a shit about like Russia and China and and all this stuff? Like, I can't afford to pay my bills. I'm in debt. Like three quarters of Canadians right now are in debt, and most people I'm talking to are like, can we focus on that? Maybe. And that's when I try and, you know, educate them and saying like, yeah, but like your material conditions are actually like, they don't matter. They're only going to improve your material conditions enough to the point that you don't get out on the street and overthrow them. That's it. They don't care about your material conditions because it doesn't matter to them. That's you're not where they. Me, you're not even like you're, you think like most people believe or they would like to believe that they're sitting in like the passenger seat of the car. You're like, in, you're tied up in the trunk and you better yeah. shut the fuck up. If you don't, if you say a word about where they're, where they're going, they're going to come take you out, beat the shit out of you and throw you back into the trunk. Yeah. The person riding shotgun are the capitalists and the person in the passenger seat is your government. Okay. You're not, you're not even in the car. You're being dragged out back. You're on the, you you know when you go ca like fucking camping and you tie the canoe like to the the roof like your pa used to do back in the day? That's that's where you are. You're tied to the roof and getting like windswept 24/7. That's what's happening there. 